Mr. Shimmons, you've announced that you're going to be rebranding in the Isle of Man and there's going to be less of the RBSI logo. Exactly what's happening? It only affects our personal customers that are in the RBS International brand and we're migrating them to the NatWest brand. Why? Well, we're committed to improving the customer service that we provide to all our customers. And by moving to the NatWest brand, that means that we'll be able to provide different services which are currently unavailable in the RBS brand. Is this all to do with the, the problems with RBSI as a, as a bank in general? Is this is happening? No, not at all. This is a decision that's been made uh, entirely in respect of RBS International, so our offshore business. And it really reflects the different IT platforms that we maintain for our brands here. And the NatWest platform is much more advanced than the RBS one. And, and what it will do is enable us to provide new services like mobile banking, internet banking, chip and pin, um, stuff that actually our NatWest and Ironman Bank customers already have and, and value. And we just want to make sure that our RBS customers also can avail themselves of that. Well, obviously, I mean, this building's got RBSI all over it. Will that disappear? The RBS external branding will remain, um, but inside will become a, a NatWest uh, brand. Um, so it will be a, a more modern uh, and uh, uh, an up-to-date uh, banking uh, experience for our customers. What about jobs? Will some be going? There'll be no redundancies as a result of this change. Effectively, it'll be the same staff that will be looking after our customers, just with a different badge, a different uniform. Um, so there'll be no staff losses. I mean, obviously you've got a fairly big presence here and also in the Channel Islands, which is doing the same thing, I understand. Yes, we're doing the same in the Channel Islands. Um, so the, the NatWest brand will be our personal banking brand in Jersey, Guernsey and Isle of Man. We've already done this in Gibraltar uh, with our operations there as well. So customers get, what, new checkbooks, new bank cards, everything just re-logoed. As, as far as they're concerned, you've got back, at, back office problems to sort out, I understand. But uh, for the customer, they won't really notice much difference? Um, they will uh, notice some differences in terms of the, the look and feel, mm -hmm. but also they'll be able to have uh, different products, so they a wider range of products available. But particularly on the service side, um, it will give them an up-to-date personal banking um, proposition. And as a group, are you committed to the offshores and particularly the Isle of Man? Uh, absolutely. We are very committed to Isle of Man. In addition to RBS, and, and RBS will remain as a brand for our corporate and business banking operations here. We have NatWest, we also have Isle of Man Bank. Um, so we employ um, nearly 500 people here, uh, if you include Coots and uh, Lombard Manx as well. So we are very committed. And there's been redundancy throughout the business. Do you see any more on the horizon for your group here? Um, I think uh, if you look at the, the headcount that's been employed throughout the banking sector in Isle of Man, that has declined. Uh, that reflects some of the challenges that, that we face. Uh, in many ways, um, banking reflects the economy at, at large. Um, we, we're obviously keen to minimise any uh, job losses uh, and I think our businesses are doing well, which reflect the overall uh, position of the Isle of Man. And just looking ahead to the budget, the, the Manx budget, have you got any uh, sort of things you'd like to see come out of that to help your sector? I think for me um, it's going to be a challenging budget. Um, we await the outcome of that. I think it's very important that the um, government in these more difficult times continues to invest in the uh, sectors of the future, I feel like. I think uh, we, the island has done particularly well in relation to others uh, because everything's relative. Um, and whilst things are harder, we shouldn't um, stop investing in the, the sectors which hopefully will be uh, um, significant employers and uh, income providers for us in, in the coming years.